What's up everyone, Maury Croson here from the Performance Lab of California, and we got another breakdown here today, and it is going to be on Ryan Halinski. Love, love Ryan. Ryan is from Southern California, so I'm probably a little bit biased towards Southern California, but I do think that going into this next 2019 class, he's probably the, uh, the best overall pros prospect, at least from um, the, the West Coast, or the best, uh, the best pocket passing a prospect coming out of the West Coast in this in this upcoming class. I mean, he's uh, an absolute stud. You know, can really has a lot on the ball, um, and, and really makes it makes it all look look very very easy in one of the tougher divisions in um, really the the entire nation. So um, we'll just go ahead and hop right into the breakdown for all the guys that like the um, the high school quarterback stuff and follow it. You, I'm sure you guys know about about Ryan. So. Um, we'll go talk about some of the, the strengths and the weaknesses and, and, of course, all the things that we can work on. So let's go ahead and hop right into it here. So um, what's great about Ryan is his ability to shift his body weight from the back leg to the front leg. He does that very, very naturally. Um, you can see how he, he's loading here. I like this back view um, just because you can see, you know, good load on the, onto the back leg, uh, keeping that the, the knee bent. And then from there, when he when he gets that, that push forward, he gets a... Like, does a good job of transferring, getting rotation off of that back leg, and continues that rotation all the way through that front knee. See how that knee keeps on turning outwards, keeps on turning outwards, and, and really, I think he could probably get overall a little bit better ankle range of motion. I don't know if the left knee, you know, if, there, if that brace is there because there, he'd had some, uh, you know, some, some knee injuries, problem like that, but I would say... Um, that that left ankle definitely doesn't have as much range of motion as it could, uh, which makes it so sometimes as he's coming forward, he doesn't get all the way up onto that, that front um, leg as far as he can, which will actually increase his ability to uh, generate some more force. But he still does a good job of being able to get rotation from the hips. And you can see how he actually has like that, that legit movement where he's like really twisting a lot in those hips and he uses that to really pivot that ball forward and get a lot of snap on the ball. I think that's a, a great... Um, view there where you can see exactly what it is that, that I'm talking about there. Okay, this is a good good view too. Able to get uh, a good little um, position of, of him going through that, that same uh, throw, same process. So uh, here, a little bit longer stride. Um, I think when he gets into those deeper balls or when he's really trying to, to drill it, he gets into that habit of great, getting a little bit uh, longer stride, which then makes it so he gets a little bit more um, like hyperextension, that low back, see how he gets a little extended there. Uh, but that allows him to then get a little bit more external rotation within that, that shoulder, which then allows him to really um, drive the ball with that like anterior shoulder, front part of the shoulder, and, and put a lot of velocity on it there. So um, there, are, there are good things that come from that. Another thing is, notice again how he is really pushing hard off that back leg and then using that to continue that rotation within that front leg and really does a great job of putting a lot of force down in that front leg. He gets very, very, gets a lot of momentum forward and down into that front leg, which is where he definitely excels as a, uh, as a passer is being able to transfer so much force on that front leg, which is so important, being able to be very stable there. A lot of guys we see, you know, when they're trying to transfer that weight forward, they end up extending that knee and stopping that hip rotation where he does a great job of not only not extending that knee, but continues that hip rotation all the way through, uh, which is excellent. Again, I still think he can even get more of it if he had better range of motion within that front ankle. Now, Another thing that he does here, what, watch when he initially loads, how when he's, he kind of sits back with that front elbow, right? So as he's loading, he's letting that hip kind of open up, and then he's loading back with that front elbow, making it so he's getting some what's called hip and shoulder disassociation, so that hip's starting to open up, that, that, sh that shoulder's staying closed. So then when he drives, he can able to keep those hips out in front of him, and now gets a big pullback from, you know, he pulls back with really that left shoulder and pulls forward with that right shoulder to generate a lot of force, which is... Uh, again, well, where he generates a lot of that, that overall power. All right, we got one more throw, which is a little bit more of a deep throw here. Again, I like the, the back views for him. Okay, so again, notice how he's loading. He loads with that, that front shoulder, brings that front shoulder back. Meanwhile, that hip is starting to get around. Okay, then from here, he does a good job of really getting vertical, right? And I think that as you want to get into more of like a, a deep ball type of a, 
of a throw, it's very, very important to create that, that vertical force, that vertical press upwards in order to maximize that. And so you can see how he does a good job of pressing almost upwards now in his body. And this is like a, a, a definite difference from the last one that we saw where, you know, he ended up, um, you know, as he was shifting forward, it became much more of like a lateral uh, movement. Now this one is much more rotational movement in the hip. And, and making it so he's really getting that hip all the way around and he has a uh, a different release point right so when he's trying to throw more of a of a bullet type of throw he his release points ends up being a little bit lower now that he's trying to throw up overhead he he rises up with his body a little bit more initially as he pushes off and then from there he gets that that ball a little bit higher up and then really snaps down afterwards in order to get um, a lot a lot on the the throw I mean he's, he's a you know, again, he's he's really does does a good job of first creating rotation within the hips, and then from there uses like the decelerators, the the muscles that, like in the lats and the back of the shoulder to really allow him to get a good good snap on his actual throw, which helps him kind of maximize it overall. So um, it, it definitely is a a great a great overall ability to um, to to throw the the football and. Um, yeah, it's it's very 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 pretty throw, very very um, effective throw, and um, yeah, I mean this one too, Ryan. I mean, um, looking forward to your your continued success, man. I mean, always always great seeing you. I think that there's always or or uh, watching you throw. I think that there's always room for improvement. If you have any questions, go ahead and reach out to me, and as well as anybody watching the video. If you guys have any, have any questions, go ahead and reach out. We'll be happy to answer anything about that. Um, Next thing too is our, our uh, online stuff. We always want to provide more value for anybody that is looking to improve their mechanics. Um, you know, we, we add a ton of value from a mechanic perspective. If you haven't checked out our progressions video, some of the people have seen big improvements in their mechanics over um, or going through our program. You know, go in and, and check that out, or you can just go and look on to our. You can click the link on uh, below, and you can go on to the the page and, and see how much people have. Um, improve going through our program. Additionally, if you want to find a little bit more um, just with the free ebook, because the, the online program does actually cost money to be a part of, but if you want to check out the free ebook where it's like the, it's a blueprint to the perfect throw, that's something you can do and, and get some more information about what you can do from a mechanic perspective to really help excel as a quarterback. So, um, yeah, guys, thanks for as always for watching these videos. And if you have any questions, reach out and we will talk to you soon.